Welcome to our LinkedIn segment of uh, Podcasts I Run. Uh, today, I'm delighted to have uh, Ananya Mohan join us. Uh, she's a graphic design major and a book design minor at uh, MICA School in Maryland. Love to hear more about um, your interest in graphic design and how it shaped up while you're uh, studying. And it's been, what, three and a half years now. So why don't you introduce yourself and then we'll roll from there. Yeah, um, I'm Ananya. I... I'm in my third year at the Maryland Institute College of Art. And I think, I mean, st stepping in, I was pretty sure that I wanted to do graphic design, um, just simply from seeing examples of the work, sort of dipping my toes back in high school as to what it could be. But I was made pretty, like I was, I became pretty confident of that decision that I made pretty soon into being in college, I guess, just seeing the kind of classes which were available and the kind of work coming out of those classes and just the student, like the talented student body, which was around me. I think that itself just like reassured me that I made the right decision. Um, in terms of the actual classes, like they, um, first day is always more of like an introduct introductory thing where you um, try out a little bit of everything. It's called the foundational year, but um, second year is when you really step into your major. And for graphic design, that starts with two directions of classes, which is typography and then overall graphic design. And um, that's sort of where my love for typography also grew because just having a class solely dedicated to understanding the nitty gritties of what goes behind any type decision you see anywhere, like that's when you realize like the depth of like meticulous thought, which is behind any design piece around you. and. Um, I think that was just another, I don't want to say reassurance, but it, it made me very confident of me making the right decision because I really began to enjoy it. Great. And so if you look at, um, you know, experiences that you got beyond class, uh, classroom activities or studio activities, um, maybe student clubs or the internship that you did uh, over the summer, uh, what are the skills that you picked along the way which perhaps were introduced in class, but you honed further at these settings? Yeah, so um, back in freshman year, I basically joined something sort of as like a way to meet new people and like make my introvert itself like socialize a bit more. Um, and that was, um, it's what we call the MICA program board. Um, it's part of the student engagement center that we have in college and I started off as a program assistant where you just help these students um, around campus. But I realized that the work they're doing is actually extremely important. And it was essentially like making events and programs happen across campus. So any student led activity, any um, social event which was happening, they were the ones behind it. And um, just seeing what happens on the back end, like as a freshman, I was pretty sure that, okay, this is going to be an extremely helpful um, job for me. And I applied to be a program manager. And essentially, it's a team of you who, and you work with a partner, and you basically come up with ideas and based off of a committee that you're in, uh, ideas for making the student body also engage beyond just academics. So you do events which are anything from like the Halloween party that people love to go to every year in MICA but also more academically informative ones like MICA talks which is like this segment where we involve um where we invite al alumni to come and give talks and as a program manager like I really enjoyed having that voice that I could sort of represent for the student body and also create those events which um, eventually in my third year, then I applied to be the program director, which oversees the micro program board, which I currently is the position that I hold now. And um, yeah, it's just been really, it also has helped my design practice as well, because a big implementation of what you learn is um, a big part of it can be marketing and like communicating what you want um what you want to express and just simply like from the small acts of like marketing an event um every single month or like having something like that like 
put out there which was like my design that made me feel okay like i'm actually creating now like it's not simply like projects that i'm doing in class like i'm creating something that people uh consuming outside and it's inviting them to come and do the programs that we're forming for them so it was this back and forth which started and um just that implementation also really merged what j- the job that i had with the practice that i was doing in classes yeah that's such an important point really to communicate and put yourself out there and so the world knows that what you're doing um uh, the other thing that you really uh, got me excited thinking about the minor that you were enrolled in was the book design minor um as a big fan of different books and I was talking about books and pop out books and various other kids children's books is something that i follow a lot having a 7 year old now at home uh tell me a little bit uh, <clears throat> about this minor and what fascinated you to enroll for this yeah so i first heard about this minor when i saw a friend of mine who's graduated now it was her senior thesis exhibition and she was a book arts minor and i just saw the work that she created and it's when you hear book arts like it's for people who might be aware it's different but books have this tactility and mundane quality that they can have because it's so it's such a frequent thing and people interact with it every day but when you go into book arts it's sort of breaking those barriers of what books can be and making them these creative expressions of just beyond the content which is inside them so um what we essentially do is learn different structures like the, once when you hear book arts like you would think that it's more about the content or like creating books which we do but we focus on the structure which is behind the books so like structures from different parts of the world and also like the history behind each of those structures it's just um it's this long hi- historical practice which is now being sort of it's so accessible to us it's so easy to do and like learn and um it just makes it it really in- inspired me because i'm personally very interested in publication and seeing all these different forms of book arts made me realize that there's no like limit to what is possible i guess because there's just so like endless potential of expression of what you want to communicate fantastic so thank you so much uh, ananya and looking forward to all your success in the future and uh, wish you all the best with the internship season coming up and um, i'm sure our audiences uh, who audience members who are interested in graphic design and book art would uh, would like to do a follow up session with you so do share some links and details and resources if you have um, and i'll post it along with uh, this video thank you thank you so much take care and bye bye